Oh, oh my God, it's so fast. Hello everyone. Today is gonna be epic because we're in the woods, it's lovely conditions, and I've done the best modification to my enduro bike you've ever seen. So if we step this way, you'll notice that you can't see my bike, but you can see the top of the handlebars that I've fitted. If you zoom out now, you will see that I have fitted the biggest handlebars I could possibly find online. These are like low rider monkey bars, they're called, because you can literally hang on them like a monkey. I've fitted the brake here because it wasn't long enough, so that's going to cause some issues when we're going downhill. But I realise you can slide your hand down and grab it if needs be. But I think it's going to be great. As you can see, when you stand on it, it's so weird. Look how high it is, but you can actually get the bike into positions that you never would with normal bars. And I'm certain that this is going to be the future of enduro biking. So let's see how well it performs. We're going to slowly ramp this video up, but we're going to start off nice and easy by going to the top of this hill and going as fast as possible down it with these bars on. Hopefully it works out. Let's get into it. Here we go. Then. big bars oh oh my god it's so fast oh wow that got the adrenaline pumping actual death gripping down and I had to slowly do this towards the bottom to slow down that was great wow this is my predictions I think are coming true. This is the future. Let's get way, way gnarlier. I've now come across to one of my favorite spots at Twisted Oaks Bike Park. This is the dual slalom track. I think it's gonna be a super nice warm up to more gnarly things with this ridiculous setup. The bars are quite flexible. So hopefully they don't flex too far and then make me chest plant this stem because if you zoom in, you'll see that that won't be very comfortable. Let's get straight up there and drop in then. Okay, here we go. I'm quite nervous because I don't want these bars to bend, but let's get it. Straight in, dual slalom. Oh my God. Yes. Flying. Yes. Whoa. Oh my God. It is so out of control. Oh, steezing. This is the dream. Oh my God, I got winded then. As you can see, steez levels can still be activated with these bars on, but the only issue is, is if you look here, the bars can be moved just because there's so much leverage there they can be sort of moved around which is kind of sketchy because you land jumps and then you're like even further back which just all sort of adds to the sort of experience that i hope you all one day would like to join in with when this takes off in the enduro world let's find another trail to hit we've now come over to a new location where i've been confronted by this sign which is sort of putting me off it says are these trails for you generally they would be but when your bars are taller than the warning sign that's when things are very different we've got a couple of different jumps here this is the beginner zone which is probably perfect for me with these with this setup should i just jump straight in i'll see if i can get through it I'm sure it's gonna be fine then we might be able to get a few like <gasps> imagine that Right, let's see if we can jump these then. Yeah. No. Oh, it's so hard to turn. It's crazy how much you rely on a brake more than you think. <laughs> I'm going to do the outside line. Actually, just to, to steeze it, I'll like transfer across. And yeah, this is really good. Oh, I want to try that trick now. 
think that's going to work so well. Let's get a Sloan's on that second one and get a candy bar underway. World's first activated the candy bar. Oh, with moto bars on here. Ridiculous. Although when I went up the takeoff, they sort of bent inwards or back. This has been tightened up fully and it still moves. It's so scary. And I got the bonus points there of keeping my face expression completely normal on the way out when really I was terrified. This is so fun, but I want to hit some trails and stuff. Maybe another jump. Let's just go and explore and do some more stuff with these ridiculous bars. We've now come across to some fun trail stuff. This one has a skinny as an intro. I think with the higher bars, it's gonna be way safer. See, you can literally cruise on it like it's nothing and then straight into the trails. And from here, you can steam into the trails with huge cutties, sick berms and then be out of control. Oh, it's so hard to find the brake. Whoa. Oh, so gnarly having to hold like this. Oh, but quite dreams as well. Yeah. As you can see, it does work down trails, but with the brake down here, it makes it very difficult. So we've come across again to some jumps. These ones actually lead into one of my favorite trails here, which has got all like transfers and stuff, but the speed you'd gain would just be way too gnarly for this setup. So we're gonna try and do this first double here. Kind of wished I hadn't come over though. Cause like I said, when you land, these bars just move every time and they've bent inwards from that trick. So let's just do it. This is horrible because it's such a sandy jump. Oh. oh, that's death. But I think I want to dissect this whole trail now. Here we go. Back in for more. Oh, that's insane that it's working. This is gonna be so deaf. I also had to do a mid-air hand position swap to grab onto the brake ready for this. It's quite a technical way of riding. And that's why, like I said, I feel it might become the new norm in enduro mountain biking, coming into the next season's races, you might be seeing top athletes hurtling with such bars. Oh, that's death on there. Oh, oh my God, I survived it. Switching hands for full speed engagement. Come on! Oh! I just finished a trail then that I never thought possible on this setup we've got right now. But it's terrifying. It's literally doing this as I go over huge jumps. But the worst thing about it is the flex. Look, I'm just gonna do a bunny hop. And you'll see what I mean. It's actually horrible. <laughs> Look! Look how wide they've become. That is so deaf. I just hit the biggest jump ever. See how far we can get them to go. Oh. <laughs> that is terrifying. Okay, basically, that is the worst thing ever, ever to ride that, that week but I don't want that to be the end. I want to do this again in the future with a longer brake hose and I want to put on a BMX cross brace or a motocross one here so it doesn't do this. And then I think we can get way more ridiculous, but that's just disgusting. 
it's not possible to ride anymore. Wait, it could be, oh yeah, let's just find a cool position that we like. See that, that's the steeze though, isn't it, there? Maybe that, but in, so like that, that, it's like a spoon, it's that loose. There, that's the one. So good. Oh, it's actually a fitness thing. So you can like do rowing while you're going. Well, there we go. The huge monkey bars did work, but they need a few modifications to really get gnarly on. Like I said, when you pulled up, they went in. When you landed, they did that. And they also do this. So a few little mods. I think it could be the future, like I said. But on that bombshell of absolute ridiculousness, huge bars and fun, that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That would be awesome if you leave some comments. And be sick if you subscribe. See you in the next one. To the sky.